I got called up into the Army in January 1942 when I was 18 years old. I felt it was a good chance to travel and it would be a good experience. I was in a Horsham based unit and I was the youngest and there was one other Sonoma boy, H. Lloyd. I trained at Dandenong first, then went to Mullawar, Western Australia. It was a very small place, scrubby country and thick bush. I was used to more open spaces. I was in the 101st Motor Regiment, which was attached to the 1st Armoured Division. There was no leave at all. Our training was mainly marching about 150 k's over three days. We did about 50 k's a day marching down to the sea. You had to be careful we didn't get blisters. We go swimming and which was the only time we got a good wash. We also did exercises every week with motor utes. We would drive to places and jump out to hide in make believe shelters. There would be up to six men in each ute. When riding home, we couldn't share where we were camped or other information. Officers read all letters before they were sent out. Our meals were mainly stews and for breakfast, powdered eggs. I missed home cooked meals. When I got leave, I was happy to come home and eat something other than stews. After two years in WA, I injured my knee during training. I was carrying a man on my back. It was swollen, but the sergeant said I was right to march. Another 30 k's. Back at camp, it locked up. I was sent to Hollywood Army Hospital in Perth for an operation. It was a modern place. I recovered there. I could rest. And we could do what we liked. Four months later, I was B graded and sent back to Victoria to do odd jobs around camps. My knee kept giving me trouble and I was discharged. I was just about to turn 21. I ended the war years working on a sheep station at New Orleans Springs as there was a lack of manpower at this time. It was good to be back home after seeing most of Australia. <laughs>